What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy HD, and I'm back with another reaction on Textual Chatter, man. Listen, today we'll be reacting to a video called I Got Caught Working Two Remote Jobs. I believe the creator's name is Josh Farron. I'm going to double check that once I get on the video. But yeah, y'all yeah, love the reaction, so let's get to it. But before we get to it, make sure you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, please. And if you do choose to subscribe and you like my content, hit the bell icon and make sure you select all to be notified when I'm dropping new videos. But without further ado, let's get to the video. So I got caught. I tried to work two full-time jobs at the same time uh, and they found out. And if you're new to this channel, I've made several videos about the jobs thing, like working two remote jobs at the same time. And I'll link to those videos in the description if you wanna learn more about it. I did one on like a Q and A, like most commonly asked questions. And this is one of the most commonly asked questions I get. How did you get caught? I mentioned in one of my videos that I got caught and everyone wants to know how did you get caught how did they find out in this video i'm going to tell you the story of how i got caught and then what happened afterwards because honestly i could not believe it like it's a freaking crazy story before i go on if you are new here my name is jake farron i'm a product designer turned youtuber turning youtuber i still work full-time as a product designer but thanks for stopping by and consider subscribing now let's get into why you're here how did i get caught working two full-time jobs so last year i went out and i started interviewing with other companies hoping to get a little pay increase i'd been at my company for a long time it had been like five years and in the tech industry that's a long time uh, people usually bounce around like every two years so at this point as i'm interviewing with other companies the idea of working two jobs at the same time had not even entered my mind i didn't even know that was something that people were doing or that it, that it was possible. So I got an offer from, from one of these companies and as I was like trying to figure out how I'm gonna break the news to my current company that I was gonna be leaving, I had the idea of like, wait a second, what if I just don't tell them? Like I'm fully remote, I just work from home, I'm not that busy and I'm at a point in my life where I wanna make more money, I wanna be busier. So that's what I did, I just didn't say anything. I hey look, and we know since 2020, this has been a big thing happening right now, like look, I agree. I feel his whole sentiment. This was me. For y'all that don't know, I did work two jobs at the same time briefly last year. I, I did it briefly last year. Um, and so it's the same. It's kind of like, dang, how do you, you've been somewhere for a while. How do you tell him about that? Because it, it wasn't like, and I think here's the key, and I don't know what he's going to say. Most of the time, if it's probably the same level of job, and you know you have minimal work to do well not minimal but just you can maintain it i think it's okay i don't think people are, you know are quitting to do the same level it's like what's the point i didn't did all this here and i get you know this team is more flexible with me why you know go do that so that's a little bit of uh, how that goes into it but i'm interested in to see you know how he got caught because i know people who's been doing it for a while and the companies don't know or care now i do know in some industries you're supposed to not do it because you could be technically um, doing an NDA or just in trouble, but at the same time, the way I feel about it is like, you know, y'all take on a lot of clients more responsibilities, but don't give me a pay bump for making me work multiple clients. Why can't I do the same for myself? So, keep watching. I went through the onboarding at this second company, uh, kind of got on my merry way. Things are going great. No one seems to know that I haven't quit my first job, and I'm like super paranoid this entire time that I'm going to get found out. I thought for sure if I get found out, I'm getting fired immediately. Like obviously, immediate termination. So about three weeks in, I get a message from one of my bosses. It says, hey Jake, do you have a minute? I'm freaking out. Like I'm thinking it's over. I am gonna lose my job, probably both jobs. So I hop on a Zoom call with him, trying to keep my cool. And sure enough, right off the bat, hey, I heard about Blank Company, is this true? My face goes red. My lip starts twitching. So let's go back and let me explain how they found out. So back when I was interviewing for these different jobs, I was pretty deep in the process with a couple of them when one of my friends came to me and said, hey, would you be interested in working with me at my company? He and his boss actually used to work with me at my current company, but I told him I'm pretty deep in the process, but I'll keep him posted. I'm probably not interested. So I ended up getting an offer, like I explained, and then I went to him and I said, hey, I got an offer for one of these companies that I'm gonna take. At this point, the two jobs thing still hadn't entered my mind. Like I, I didn't know that I was gonna be doing both jobs. So then he goes to his boss and tells him, hey, Jake accepted an offer. He's not going to be interviewing with us. His boss then went to my current boss, you know, they're friends. We all used to work together and said, hey, I heard Jake is leaving. That, that sucks. Bad. Well, this was news to my boss. Hey, hang on, man. Now, that's what you call like dry snitching right there. Like, bro, that didn't have nothing to do with buddy. You can't get mad. You know, he went and got an offer somewhere else. And so now he decides to call this man's boss and tell him like, come on, bro. Like, 
what? I might put that right there because I'm just like, I don't get it. Like, that don't make no sense to me, uh, you know, why he would do that. But um, it's just pretty interesting. So let's go back into the video. Boss, because I hadn't told them about the whole two jobs thing. I hadn't told them I was going to leave or that I accepted an offer somewhere else. So that brings me back to my red twitching face with me kind of a lot. So I thought I was done. I thought immediate termination. Immediately fired. From both companies. I thought that they for sure would have told the other company too. I'm sure they all know each other somehow. I'm assuming the worst. So I came clean. I told them it's true. I, I got a job at another company, but I've been working both jobs and I don't want to leave. I told them I really like my job here. I like the things that I'm working on. I like the people that I work with, but I just need to make more money. This new gig is on a fully remote team. It hasn't affected the speed or the quality of my work in any way. I'm at a time in my life where I want to stretch myself. I want to like work hard and be busy and make more money. Plus most designers, including him, my boss that I was talking to and me, do freelance and contractor work on the side in addition to their full-time job to make a little bit of extra money. It's pretty cool. Uh I'm willing to bet that they probably said, you know what, we had seen a dip, no change, probably not with a competitor. We're good with it. I'm willing to bet that they said that. Um, I'm curious to see, you know, I know you guys want to know what they said, so let's find out. So what I was doing was basically like a better version of that, like a more consistent version where I'm getting a paycheck every two weeks and have consistent work uh, rather than like, you know, one-off freelance jobs. So I said all that stuff and then I braced myself. And what he said surprised me. It was shocking to me. He said, man, I'm just glad to hear that we're not losing you. I couldn't believe it. Like, I, I genuinely couldn't believe it. He didn't seem to care. And the next couple of weeks after that, I'm like holding my breath, just waiting for things to blow up. But things went on and nobody seemed to care. I came clean to my team as well, my product managers and some other people that I work with and told them what I was doing. And they even moved our morning meetings around to accommodate my meetings at this at this other company it's crazy like i could not believe it hey that's a good team you know this, this sounds a little bit too good to be true but who am i to call this guy a liar uh i know for my situation everything just worked out perfectly they were on the west coast of uh, central time um we had some like couple of meetings well no no actually the company was on the west coast but the client we had was on the east coast so but i, I was able to manage i mean i started off being busy a little bit in the beginning but then after that, it didn't really matter too much. Uh, I was able to handle it. Nobody ever found out unless I, you know, told you. And I didn't tell people until I left just because I don't trust nobody. Just like Buddy in the beginning, he tried to really be low down to, you know, play him. Say, oh, man, heard you losing so-and-so. That, that's a sucker move, bro. It is. It, it just is, bro. Like, they had nothing to do with you, bro. That's that's a, that's equivalent to... um. Me seeing a dude out with another chick and then I go to his girl and say, uh, I ain't know you broke up with so-and-so. And they gonna say, what you mean? Oh, he was out with this girl at the mall. They ain't had nothing to do with me. Why well, I had to go up to him and say that. But uh, I'm going to keep on watching a little bit and then probably, you know, let's go. It couldn't have been. It was like the opposite of what I thought would happen. So the whole experience just made me think about fear. It made me think about like the stories that we tell ourselves. A lot of times we tell ourselves the worst case scenario or we have these thoughts, these fears that just that hold us back and it affects the way that we live. It affects the decisions we make and the things that the way that we're interacting with the world. Like we create all these crazy narratives of like, oh no, this person said this thing, which means that they think this about me, which means this is going to happen. But it's not true. Like it's, it's not the real world. It's not what's actually happening. The whole time I'm thinking it's probably so obvious that I'm working two jobs and they're all talking about me and, oh, they know they talk to each other. They like creating all these stories and none of it was true. Or maybe it was true, but it didn't matter. I ended up working the two jobs for eight months and I was paranoid pretty much the entire time that they would find out and I would get fired. At the end of the eight months, it was actually at the beginning of 2022 in January, I thought I'm done. I'd had enough of the two jobs. I was too busy and I quit one of the jobs. and. Yeah, we're going to probably stop it right there. Uh, but, I mean, honestly, I know people that never got caught in their work. It's like they probably don't even work 40 hours a week total with two two jobs. They're probably like 20, 25. So uh, hats off to him. This is a good story. I'll make sure I link his stuff in the description. Uh, if any of you watching and you work two jobs and got caught, you feel like telling those stories in the comments, you know, leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you share it on your social media or the YouTube algorithm. Your boy HD. Yeah.